terms, uh, a fairly short day, 51 kilometers, but with 2,000 meters of climbing, it is no easy feat to accomplish. And uh, it all starts in Lenzerheide. They call it the Bike Kingdom. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> How are you feeling? Feeling good. Yeah? Yeah, the soreness that I mentioned in uh, yesterday's video is completely gone. So, legs feel good this morning. The weather's good, so yeah, it nice. should be fun. Nice, and uh, it is cool today, folks. So, this boy is a happy camper. Yeah. I've already started panicking that I didn't bring a jersey or a vest. <laughs> Once we hit those climbs, we're going to warm up. So yeah. And it'll feel good going down. The weather's perfect. Not, nice. Not too cold, not too warm. So. All right, bikes are ready. halfway through this beast and this is stage one least amount of k's but most uh feet or meters per mile but i mean this weather is gorgeous we just ran into some other guys from the u.s from utah out here doing this race cool to see people from the u.s out here got kelly behind me hi guys how you feeling kel uh i'm okay on this we had some incredibly steep climbs before that I had to get off my bike and it absolutely wrecked my legs. My heart rate has not dropped below 139 since we started. And I have no front brake. So downhill was sketch to say the least. <laughs> However, I'm grateful that it's the front brake that's gone and not the rear. Or else then I would be F-U-C-K-E-D. Well, you heard it first. There's the update, but we're gonna keep on pedaling and keep on going up and up and up and up. check-in of the day y'all I am liking this route way better than stage one so far yeah I agree and I have brakes so I'm pretty happy we've had a lot more downhill and single track that's always fun but of course now we go up again aid station number one so 39 kilometers in and now we have a really big climb coming up but everybody is Halfway getting done. hydrated and ready to roll
Virgil. <laughs> and now we're about to go under there. There's some single track. So, stage two done, the longest stage. It was rough. This is the Swiss Can We Survive epic. <laughs> Six hours for that one. Yeah, we'll get with you shortly because we need to die for a second. I don't have anything to say. <laughs> I feel better. It is stage three, folks. Everybody's looking happy and alive. Austin is feeling so good. Good morning. Hello. Good morning. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. How's everybody feeling? Perfect. Stage three. All right, folks, we are ready to go. Um, it's cooler today, and I feel good for a little pee, pee So we'll see how it goes. See you in a bit. Stage three, folks. Already absolutely dead. We just hiked up like, what, 30% grade? Like so steep I had to use my brakes pushing my bike. Insanity. We're not even five miles in. Dying. break
which is the queen stage. Everybody's ready. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful morning out here. We are leaving St. Mark and going to Davos. I am sick as a dog. We're doing some good time this morning off the front, which is a good change from the pace. So we'll check in. Woo! We've been ripping the first miles. It's been good. Okay, this is amazing. And my favorite stage, it's the queen stage. And some people say I am the queen, <laughs> but this is actually enjoyable. However, we have a massive climb coming up, like 20 kilometers, hike a bike. But then it's downhill, baby. And that's where we shine. Right, babe? Yeah. We've been killing it on the downhill today. Yeah. Uh, this is a four kilometer hike a bike. It's brutal. Done. All right, we just found a little cool shade and we just dipped our toes in a pond that was really cold and it was super nice. Um, we're in Davos and it's beautiful. Um, I'll give you a little spin around. The event is over there, but super pretty. Um, so stage four. Stage four done and dusted. Done and dusted and it was but I don't, the I, funnest. I don't know if dusted is the right term because it was quite muddy and wet. Yeah, but it was um, 73 kilometers, 6,800 feet of climbing. My Garmin missed a little bit because we had quite a, a, over an hour of hike a bike. So it kept shutting off. Um, but we got a good start today. So we didn't get caught up in the technical trails behind people that were walking because that happens um, and we paced well and we really enjoyed today yeah. it was today really was, good today was really epic today was the first day where you know, we were racing <laughs> yeah. like, like racing hard is what I mean like, it was good in the last 10k we were ripping handing. yeah so we passed a bunch of people but it was good yeah it was, it was super fun, fun. So now we're gonna go find our last hotel. Um, this is the last location because tomorrow is the last day. And uh, we'll check in later. Bye. Hey guys. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and go.
Okay, so every single rest stop has been this. This is how they do it for Swiss Epic. Look at this. Everything that you could need and the best volunteers ever. Thank you guys. There you have it guys, quick pee break. But those are the sag stops and they are pretty spectacular. And when you feel like you're gonna die, then you get some oranges and you're good to go. Right, babe? Right. <laughs> okay guys, we are 31 miles in, so 31K, sorry. So a little uh, less than halfway on the last stage. Absolutely incredible as every fucking day. Excuse my French. But yeah, I'm gonna put my GoPro away because uh, we're going down again. A little bit less than 5k to go. We thought we still had like 25k to go. Enjoy us going hard for the last 5k. Let's do it. So, just wanted to show you the bikes. They are done and dusted. Between the two of us, we had not one mechanical. No punctures in our tires. Now we run different tires. Obviously I have the better ones, the Pirellis, but uh, we had no punctures, no mechanicals. Austin did run through a set of brakes and had to get some rear brakes, but that's it. Um, and our wheels were amazing. Thank you, Atomic. But I was so happy with this bike. Were you happy with your bike? So happy. And these tires are way better than any Pirellis. I mean, just look around. Everyone's running special tires. <laughs> and they were great. And we went over some chunky stuff. I didn't even cross my mind a flat. I know. It's true. So there you have it. Two complete opposite bikes, S-Works and BMC Four Stroke, but we both really loved our bikes and we are super happy. Okay guys, so this is Sarah, who is a sponsored UC athlete, um, and we know each other, basically Insta friends. Yeah. So first time meeting her, super stoked. Uh, <laughs> she was racing with the pro women and did amazing. So how was your race? 
You know, Swiss Epic is something different. I've done three and a half Cape Epics and uh, I thought I was ready for action and then I saw the Swiss Alp steepness of the mountains and I, <laughs> my world definitely was rocked. Um, but I think uh, it was an amazing experience. I would come back again, maybe maybe prepare a little bit differently. <laughs> um, but I loved it. Views are just outstanding. It was so worth coming to. I know, I agree, I agree. So we don't know when we'll see each other again, but we're going to remain Insta friends and check her out. Um, what is the Instagram set? It's Sarah H. So Sarah Hill RSA. Sarah Hill RSA. She's from South Africa. So follow her on Instagram. And yeah, thank you. <laughs> Oh, <laughs>